Today, my friends, we are playing Watch Dogs Legion. It is good to be back. Did you miss me? How are you doing? How has it been without me? What do you mean, better? You're a liar. We are playing Watch Dogs Legion live today. Ubisoft gave me early access to it, and we are allowed to share with you some gameplay. Now, I'm not going to be a baboon and talk and spoil the story for you because, quite frankly, I would kind of be peeved off if someone did that as well. It's one of the games that I'm looking forward to playing the story on. I've told you, it's a fantastic story from the little bits that I have played, and therefore, I want you to enjoy it as is. So, I thought today we would explore London and play around with some of the cars and the side activities and one quick thing you could clearly see something's gone on here i'll explain more about this very soon but first things first i wanted to go into gameplay and as you can clearly see my permadeath is enabled and like these are the settings i want to go for i want to go for normal difficulty with permadeath i think it's gonna be a nice little combination and i think that is how we're gonna play now some of you may have already noticed this but i think this is absolutely fantastic this is very clearly supposed to be well it was a range rover of sorts but it's <laughs> it's called a land rock <laughs> opposed to a land rover which quite frankly i agree with it is a behemoth of a vehicle and those that don't want our giant rock that's not what it means i know all right it's London, baby. Where do we want to go? Now, I think the main thing I want to focus on for today's video is recruiting people. Because if you didn't know, and obviously due to the fact that I am doing a perma... Thanks for that, boss. I am doing permadeath. I think it makes sense to pick our peeps. Are you worthy? No, you're not. You? No. Who do I want? I want someone that's just absolutely crazy. This is an Albion police person, so probably probably not the best choice. I want someone unique. I want someone that's like a granny. I want someone... Is that a granny? No, nope. I just thought she's, she's got blonde hair. She's <laughs> oh my god, you are perfect. How can I recruit you to me posse? What do I have to do? You don't strike me as the kind of person who waits for someone to come save them. You ready to fight for freedom? Are you dead sick or something? When are you lot going to do something about the mass crypto scamming going on in Parliament? <laughs> what? Don't be a sap. What? You think ETO escapes government coffers? Every transaction is siphoned into a slush fund for the elite. Yeah, mate. Watch the rates. It's happening in front of our eyes. Every fluctuation in the exchange... How far in the future is, is it supposed to be? <laughs> huh? I know the key players. The ones with their hands on the switches. Sabotage these targets. Then I'll know you're on my side. I'll make it up. I've heard that voice before, so I want, I'm wondering how many voices that actually are going to be in this game. So, we need to track this one. We're going to recruit... Gunwoo Lee. That's his name. Gunwoo Lee. This is, this is going better than I thought. You stop. No, I said stop. Over here. This is the way we need to go. Turn that music off. Ain't no one no copyright from Stormzy Man himself. Stormzy in this game. It's bizarre. It's very odd. But obviously, it makes sense to go inside of the London Grime scene. I'm saying you fuck. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Let me uh, fix the... Oi! Did you not see where I was going? So, clearly authentic to the streets of London. You can clearly see the roads are quite small. They're not as small as they should be in some instances. But quite frankly, it's the, the most realistically model UK that we've seen in a little bit of a while. Oh, oh, oh. Now, me, I'm always on the lookout for cars in this game. <gasps> this is one of my favorite cars. This is one of my absolute favorite cars. To most people, it's a Land Rover Defender. This, my friends, is not... Oh, it's actually being driven. I just turned you off. This, my friends, is no Land Rover Defender. It's a Conqueror. It's a Land Rock Conqueror. <laughs> I love... The, the plays on the cars on this game. I think they've done a fantastic job at playing with just some some of the names and stuff. And that's what I like about these games, just exploring things that they believe would not be here in this world. These little hatchbacks. Oh, mate, I love them. Boom, back. There he is. There he is. Stop him. Stop in the name of Pants Man Magic. Look at this bloody hatchback. I love it so much. It's just... It, I've... I found a newfound love for hatchbacks recently, and this, this, this is, this is honestly, I, I would love this. It reminds me almost of the, is it the i30N? I think it's the i30N. It reminds me of that. It, it, oh, it's so cool. Now, one of the weird things about this hatchback, I've just realized, it's bloody rear wheel drive. It's a hatchback. 
The only card that I can think of that was... I was just, <laughs> I'm keeping my eye out. The only thing that I can think of that was a hatchback that was rear-wheel drive would be the B BMW... I, I, I can't call them a hatchback, though. I mean... Damn it. The older Generation 1 series cars, those, those were rear-wheel drive hatchbacks for sure. I, I'm pr I know there's many more that exist and you can say, but technically, technically, technically. But, mate, this is sick. This is what you want. Here's an Aston looking. That's a Jag. That's an Aston Jag. <laughs> it's British. Quite frankly, it is British. And I love this. I'm, I've just smashed it. I think similar to GTA, it's one of those games that will match the car that you're in traffic-wise a lot. So once you find it. Now, online's not available from the get-go. Otherwise, I was actually planning initially to do an online video first, because I think that makes the most sense, considering that that's what I like to do the most on these types of games, just go online and have some fun. But it's not available. This sounds like one of the few cars in this game that isn't an electric or hybrid or something. Look out, Phil! Oh my god! There's the hypercar. There's that hypercar that I had last time. That looks fantastic. I love that car. But unfortunately, your cars don't last uh, very long in terms of durability. You're all in the bus lane. You're all in the bus. What are you doing? Oh my god. This is, this is, this is, oh, what's it called? <laughs> uh, I forget. But this is the way I, I found first played Gran Turismo broken. Sport, I Some think Albion it was. Some Albion guards posted here are selling pallets of high-tech weaponry to Clan Kelly at a healthy markup. I mean, Clan sure Kelly is corrupt, the gang. Like the main the gang of London, I think. Scheme. Time to destroy a few things. Oh, hello, lady. Uh, I'm going to distract her. And, oh, hello. Oh, God, he's seen me. Give him a good old one, two, mate. Well, he just went. Oh, you were dead, bruh. All right, now everybody knows. Uh, let's open this. How do I. Well, look at you. Oh, I just destroy it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, now we need to escape the area. There's my car. Get back in it. Get away. I want to recruit this man. This is DPD. We're at the DPD depot. It's unfortunate. Why are we robbing DPD? DPD, a nice place. And we're not even robbing them. We're, we're ruining their business. DPD is good. They're one of the only few spot. delivery places that no I would highly like recommend. Just the usual gang of profiteers and criminals. No, no, don't be so easily fooled. Don't be so easily Coming fooled. Yeah. Oh, that make... was not <laughs> a bit of clipping. Maybe. Want to put your skills to good use? Dead tech is always up for new blood. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We have now got a recruit. So that's how you recruit people in this game. In a second, boom, we have recruited him. So recruitment missions are, I don't know if they're randomly generated, but there's, there's a very random feel to them. And of course, you don't have to just walk around and find people like that. You can actually interact with the world and say, for example, we do. I'm happy well, another person has oh. woken up and wants to do the right thing. Fuck yeah. Let's cause a fuss, shall we? Fantastic. Fantastic. That's that's the new fella. That's that's me. That's actually amazing. That's me right there. That's my, my main fella walking away right there. Anyway, yeah, you can, for example, do club fighting, underground fighting, which is one of my favorite activities in this game. And then you can hire someone from that. What on earth has happened to this? That is horrendous. That two-tone there. Mate, this is perfect for this car. This is perfect for this car. Horrendous baboons everywhere. Now, we've only done a small, tiny portion of this game so far. I've, I've only taken Camden. You have to take areas. Kind of like uh, uh, Assassin's Creed and any other Ubisoft game, if you will. I kind of want to go... Ooh, let's, uh, let's see what we can find. That's a flatbed. Oh, mate, I'm going to have some fun with that. I'm so glad that these are a thing. I'm so... That, that's giving me floods of ideas for this game, especially when the multiplayer comes into play. Excuse me! As if you would just stand there. If a big old house on wheels was just doing the flip whip around the corner. Now, for the handling of this game, that's a mini. That's fantastic. I would highly, highly suggest switching the sensitivity down to about 30% is what I've got it at. That might be a little bit slow. But I think for the speed of this game... 30%-ish is probably a good bet. Let's get it, baby. Whoa, transit van. Is it being auto drip? Whoa, stop. Stop. I told you to stop. But there's a... Oh, my God. I keep pressing reverse. That's why. <laughs> there's no one driving it. That's so bizarre to me. It's an old, rusty transit van, and this thing was self-driving. I don't get it. This looks like your dad's van. Okay. 
This is Albion Headquarters. One of the many Albion Headquarters, should I say. We've got a sabotage mission in here. That's something I haven't actually done yet. And we need to get in somehow. Oh, oh, oh. I've got an even better idea. We could do a sneak attack still. But by sneaking in through the roof. Oh, baby. I'm so smooth. I was going to say I'm so smooth. There's some construction workers right there. I think the construction workers are probably fine. Ah, there's a robot. Jesus Christ, shut up. I need to get away from that robot. Oh, God, I've been seen anyway. Brilliant. Right, what are we going to destroy? Oh, there's a fella. Come on. I've got a lock on me. Oh, no, I've got... No, I don't kill my guy already. Look at that big drone. Run away. I'm okay. Have I got it? I think I've got it. Interact. Get it. Hack it. Hack the, uh, hack the mainframe. But destroyed. Oh, yeah. Defiance increased. This lady easy. Honestly, you just got to keep shooting things. <laughs> Shoot things and oh, hope Albion's automated for the propaganda best. Have you thrown a spanner into? Oh, mate. Get on me, moped. Let's just go. Was he trying to put a helmet on? I think I stopped him putting a helmet on. No helmet for you, buddy. Let's do it a really dead the road. Woo. Right, that's going to be my early... <laughs> that's going to be my early look at Watch Dogs Legion on the channel on my own console for the first time. Hopefully you did enjoy. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you're new. It's going to be back. I have some crackers coming for you. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what's going on super soon. Until next time, peace.